Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about Oh look at my little guy. Isn't he adorable? So this is my avocado plant. I sprouted it from the pit and this is my plant nerd showing <laughs> but I just wanted to take you guys on a quick little journey of how you can do this at home yourself with your own avocado pits. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So how did I get this avocado plant? I heard, did I, I read on an online post somewhere, who knows when, that you can actually make an avocado plant from the pit of a used avocado. So I was like, let's try it. We have avocados in the house because my husband loves avocados. So I was like, might it, like why not give it a try? Let's just see what it goes, <clears throat> how it goes. The only thing is that these guys require a lot of patience. I have been working on this for about three to four months now and it's only this big. The first thing that you wanna do is that when you are opening your avocado to eat, you wanna make sure that you're not damaging the pit in any way. I know I used to do it too, but people just like whack a knife into there, twist it and then pull it out. You don't wanna have any damage to the pit at all. You wanna leave it as intact as possible it can be scored a little bit it won't affect it too much but try to have as little damage to the pit as possible and the first step is going to be to wash it and you want to make sure you wash it really well because if there's any of the flesh residue left over on the pit while you're trying to root it it could get mold and then it's just gonna ruin the entire thing it's not gonna end up rooting so just make sure you wash it really well so most avocados not most <laughs> all avocados uh, all of their pits come with like a dark brown skin on top of that. You want to peel that off of the pit as much as possible. If you can't get all of it, it's fine. But you do want to get most, if not all, of that skin off of the pit. And then once you do that, you're just going to get a wet paper towel, wrap the seed in it, and then put it in a sandwich bag or Ziploc bag or whatever baggage of choice you have. And throw it in a cabinet and forget about it. <laughs> Not even kidding. I think I didn't check on it for like the first two weeks. I legit forgot about it at one point until I opened up my cabinet and I was like, oh my gosh, my avocado, let me check on it. And at that point it had been like a month and a half, I believe. I've checked it a few times before that, but I honestly did forget about it because it takes so long to root that you think it's not gonna happen. But I was like, mm, let me just leave it in there longer and see what happens. And sure enough, it did end up rooting. You'll start to see when the pit starts to split. Uh, that's when you know that it's gonna start getting roots. And it was very exciting. I had it in the cabinet, in the wet paper towel for about, I would say two and a half months altogether. And I just recently took it out and put it in water when it was about, the stem was about this long, I would say. So this has all been with recently, the growth, like all the leaves and stuff like that, that's all been recently. But yeah, I waited till the stem was about an inch long, I would say, and it had some decent sized roots. And then I threw it in water and that's when the roots really started to, really started to form and take off. And look at that, it's a gorgeous root system. Kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> So yeah, and then that's it. Once they get probably, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure it's okay to plant it now. I think I'm personally just gonna wait a little bit longer, but when it does get a little bit bigger, maybe it has a few more leaves, you can pot it in soil. And when you pot it in soil, you keep this above the soil because this is gonna, the pit is gonna end up falling off naturally. So when you plant the avocado, you just leave it on top of the soil and then eventually it'll, it'll pop off when it no longer needs it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna let it get a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna pot them up. But right now it's just in my windowsill, in my sunroom, in this water, uh, in this jar of water. And if you would want, you could start adding fertilizer, like a tiny minuscule amount of fertilizer to your water for your plant because there's not a lot of nutrients in water. You know, they need nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and those aren't usually present in water by itself. So you can start adding a little fertilizer or something like that to make your plant a little stronger before you transplant it into soil. Now, I don't think this will 
create fruit, honestly. I guess we'll have to wait a few years and see because avocados take a really long time to produce fruit. So it's gonna be, you know, a video five, six, seven years from now on whether this actually <laughs> produces fruit or not, but I don't really think it's going to. I just think it's cute. And you can make these as a gift for someone because they're super easy. You could leave them in water if you want to. They're just not gonna, they're just not gonna be as strong. But it's just, I love it. I'm obsessed with it and I'm probably going to do more of these if we're being honest with me. But yeah, that's how I got my little avocado plant. I can't wait to put it in soil and see how well it does in there. I'm pretty excited for it. And fun fact, avocados are in the same family as cinnamon. And I just did a video about how cinnamon is good for your for your house plants and your garden. So if you haven't watched that, I'll link it up here. Or is it up here? One of these sides, it'll be <laughs> linked for you. Mm -hmm. And another fun fact about avocados is that they have more potassium than banana does. So if you need a dose of potassium, just go ahead and make yourself some avocado toast or some guacamole and <laughs> call it a day. And then that is it guys. That's all I have to say. Please leave any questions you have down below. I feel like I kind of just breezed through this but it's pretty simple they're pretty easy to they're pretty easy to create and maintain it just requires a lot of patience because it is a slow process if you have any questions just leave them down below thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and have fun growing your avocados bye